geocaching and math. We're talking about elapsed time. I'll put the times of uh, some different things into the description and we'll see how long it takes us to find our geocache today. Um, pretty excited. It's been a bunch of years since I've done any geocaching. Um, but when I when I found one online earlier today to to go and look for, uh, it looks like a lot of people are doing some geocaching right now and finding things. I guess it's a good activity to do with the social distancing where you can still get outside. So we're out here. We're getting the bikes ready, and um, we're gonna take off try to find this cache. Geocaching is kind of like orienteering because you're looking to find a point on a map. It's also kind of like a treasure hunt because you're looking to find this this little cache um, which uh, like a classic example of it could be like an ammo container and then inside of it there would be a place for you to sign a register and maybe there'd even be things in there for you to trade different items um, and it's also kind of like GPS like using a GPS because the coordinates you can put them into a GPS and use GPS like the GPS on your phone to help guide you and we're using an app called geocaching to find this app today or to find this cache today all right so we got our bikes ready time is 6 48 uh, miss Hiller will be riding with Joel on the booster bike on the back and I'll be riding the touring bike with Naomi and Matthias in the trailer, and Bryce will be riding his own bike. It's 6.51, Naomi yeah, is in the trailer, I'm buckled with her helmet on. Still waiting on Matthias. Miss Hiller is getting her helmet. Bryce has taken down the gate, so we're ready to roll out of the driveway. Time check. It is two minutes till seven. Sometimes people get bummed out when it takes a super long time to get ready to go for an adventure, but I just think of it like it's part of the adventure, getting ready. And maybe that can help you to uh, enjoy yourself more. My guess is that it's gonna take us 20 minutes to get to the spot where the geocache is hidden. Uh, nah, 16, 16 minutes, and, and we'll be to where it's hidden. Time check, it is 7. 12 so math was I uh, more accurate with my first prediction of how long it would take us to get here or my second prediction what's the elapsed time since we left home I think we're at the location the description talks about how the person walked up some stairs sat down and then placed the cash so I'm guessing it's somewhere around these stairs Mr. Bateman how do you make math so much fun it's a gift here's a little trick you can do if you don't have a kickstand your bike pedal, move it backwards, and then lean your front wheel against the curb, and that holds your bike up for you. We're at the spot, it was cool. The app like made the phone uh, buzz when we got here, so we're here now. We just got to find the geocache. Time check it is 7 26, and I believe. I have located the geocache. A magnetic hide a key. And looks like we got a button in here, a little piece of thread. Uh, here's the log book that we can write in. And a little piece of trash, maybe. Ugh. Awesome. Ah, expectations. Okay. Oh. Got a business card. <sighs> Time check. It is 7.35 and we're leaving to head back home. I think going home it's going to take us 21 minutes. It's a little bit more uphill to get back home. Cruising around in the parking garage a little bit. So I don't know if I should add some more time on to our trip home i think no we'll just pedal harder 21 minutes still 21 minutes we're gonna get home over you kids keep studying your math facts and if you play your cards right maybe you could have a treehouse like this we're not registering on the radar 
it is 7.58 and we're back home.